In Tennessee we have a ton of fun Down by the riverfront A waterway so long and grand That they named the Cumberland 83 folks arrive each day Down by the riverfront To see the sights on old Broadway The gift shops will take apple pay Down by the riverfront Silly tourists here and there Buying boots they'll never wear A building shaped like Batman's head Down by the riverfront And drunken wooing bachelorettes Natives drink their crafted beers Down by the riverfront Honky Tonk go by Kid Rock Away from that place we should walk The Country Music Hall of Fame The Ryman Auditorium And Marital Aid Emporium Oh, there's a park with a Parthenon Which is a symbol of Athenian democracy We've got a football team named after Roman gods But it's all Greek to me Dolly Parton is our patron saint Down by the riverfront There's a church that's on Gay Street And there's gay bars on Church Street See fancy artwork at the Frist down by the riverfront where mass transit does not exist. Historic recording studios down by the riverfront. But those old things have to go to make room for more bungalows. So let's all bow our heads and pray. Down by the riverfront, the third coast is our new nickname. Our state bird has become the crane. Nashville will never be the same Tennessee It's the Mars Variety Show coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee on Mars and it's season three leveling up and uh we're leveling up from the bed uh, this episode uh, because, you know, you know, um, we were talking about this earlier, like leveling up is uh, can be challenging and um, and traumatic and there's obstacles and stuff. But sometimes a part of leveling up is knowing when to rest, you know, recalibrate. Okay, real talk. It's the second to last episode. I'm kind of bummed about that. I also haven't really figured out what to do for the season finale. So I got a lot of that running in my brain. But, you know, there's still going to be some amazing local independent musicians and a fantastically funny local comedian on the show today. So you know, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh... I'll work it out. It's all part of leveling up. In the meantime, uh, Joel, can you play some harmonica? All right, groovy cats and kittens, you ready for this? I'm gonna give you some John Dennis. I was stranded there alone, I swear to God. Bearing witness to the air beneath the solitary stars Merely begging for the universe to hear But as I beckoned I could feel it drawing near And it appeared as though she stepped out of a song Auburn ribbons in her hair The spitting image of a dawn that I'd been dreaming For it felt like many years Then one 
Once I saw in her forever's missing piece I cast my armor in the river I would look like certainty And then she flashed a friendly smile Off we rode On a horse called Borrowed Time That we nicknamed Romeo I said, my dear, my dove What took you so long? I've been here begging through these tears for you to come. I pray your son would be the answer to my darkness all along. We'll build a place upon our love. That it will never fall So our days became sweet lavender and lace Past a shadowy Leviathan that I kept locked away within the confines of our kingdom by the sea. Long forgotten, like our own mortality. For we had no need for fragility or fear. I had written out my destiny and her name was Guinevere And it was sanctified forever by heaven in my mind Cemented in the adage that true love can never die In the future I'd imagine where I'd make of her my bride And then I'd sign My dear My dove, what took you so long? I've been here begging through these tears for you to come. I pray your son would be the answer to my darkness all along. We'll build a place. Upon our love, dead the fates that it will never fall. We built a place upon our love, dead the fates that we would never fall. John Dennis, everybody! How about that, John Dennis, right? That is just the vibe I needed right now. I'm feeling a little, a little bit better. I, I'm journaling. Do you journal? I find it very beneficial. It, it gets the stuff out of here, here, and here, just out uh, when you're processing, when you're leveling up. All you do is like three pages, or 30 minutes a day, every day. You don't have to do it every day. I don't do it every day. Don't beat yourself up if you don't do it every day, but but try it. It's, it's a lot of fun. It, you just It's mind dump, stream of consciousness. I'm holding a pen and feeling really silly sitting here without my shirt in my galaxy leggings. Oh, I know, why don't I intro the next comic? Good idea. Uh, this guy hails from Buffalo, New York. Uh, he's a local Nashvillian now. I dig him. You're going to dig him. Give it up for Corey Knox. How we doing, everybody? This is great. There's some energy now. Before, it, it felt like Bonnaroo without good drugs. That's what it felt like <laughs> for like 10 minutes. Y'all are great. Um, <laughs> she knows what's up. Um, <laughs> she's like, where is the acid? Um, but I have some in the car. But... Uh, a little bit about me, ladies and gentlemen. I am from Planet Fitness. Um, no, I'm not from there, but I grew up there. Let's know what I mean. No, I'm from Buffalo, New York. All right, wow. Uh, dead silence, birds. Where's that train? That's what I need. Um, 
Uh, I drive a 2017 Craftsman snowblower. Thank you. We get a lot of snow in Buffalo. That's what I'm trying to say, right? I've seen seven feet of snow like four times in my life. We know how to handle it. We know how to clean it up. We got crews and stuff. And then I moved to Nashville a few years ago. Nashville in the South cannot handle the snow at all. You guys know that. Nashville in the wintertime is a lot like every single girl I tried to date. As soon as they find out two to three inches on the wood, they just shut down. There's zero chance of anything getting plowed. He literally might have me beat. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. <laughs> Living in the South is interesting for me. I, I love it. Uh, but there are some hard parts. Like, if you're the least bit Italian in the South, everybody just thinks you're from the Middle East. Right? Like, I get that a lot. Right when I moved here, this guy walked right up to me. He's like, you look like you could be an ISIS sympathizer. I was like, holy shit, sir. You couldn't be any more wrong. I know I moved to Nashville, Tennessee, the music city, but I can't play any instruments at all, let alone a fucking sympathizer. It's like, how dumb can you be down here? The racism in the South is real. That's what I'm trying to get at. The vaccine's working so well so we could do stuff like this. It got me thinking, wouldn't it be great if we just had a vaccine for racism? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, hell yeah. A lot of the same rules would apply, right? Old people would be in line to get it first, right? <laughs> Sorry, sir. <clears throat> um, <laughs> now you look great, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, the next would be uh, rich white people. So none of us. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to do the last part of that joke. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, what else do we got here? Well, cancel culture is a little ridiculous. It's getting out of hand. A little bit, right? Dr. Seuss got canceled recently, okay? Now, one of my friends was talking to me. He was like, Dr. Seuss should have gotten canceled, right? The green eggs weren't cage-free. And I was like, all right, chill out, dude. But on the other end of things, if you're really mad about Dr. Seuss getting canceled, it's probably because you're stuck at that reading level, right? I can just imagine some super racist sergeant like, God damn, man, you can't read anything anymore. I guess I'm gonna have to read Clifford again. <laughs> Honey, can you grab Curious Shorts from the bookshelf? I'm trying to get a... All right. <laughs> this is the last one. Did y'all have a good 4th of July? Did everyone have a good yeah. uh, one person? That's good. Uh, it, mine was okay. A lot of people are worried about America being American right now, right? Like, we're, they're, they're, they're frightened. It's crazy, the conservative side of things. Um, we uh, lit the Gulf of Mexico on fire this past weekend. Yeah, we may not be building the wall, but no one's swimming across it. So that's, I'm to say. Right, that's jokes for a couple people. I'm Corey Knox. Y'all have a blessed night. Thank you. Hey, I'm John Dennis, and you're watching the Mars Variety Show. Hi, I'm Mo Painterly, and this is my art. That's right, this is Mo's art. Oh, come on! What? Oh, come, what, what? oh come on, you got... You let me buy the wig! I had to buy my own f***ing wig for this! All right, fine, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do one your way. What is this? Read the script. Uh, Mozart chocolate cream liqueur. A sophisticated drink for the sophisticated palate. You are very unprofessional. You'll notice the difference immediately. From the semi-brown glistening color to the... Semi-brown? Why do they say semi-brown? All right, all right, all right. Wow, this is really good. The perfect blend of Belgian chocolate and fresh cream. Mozart chocolate cream liqueur. It's like chocolate milk for adults. Can I have another one? What, you, you think I'm milking this? That's lunch. All right. No. Hey, somebody get that guy. Shit's really good. What's happening, change makers, beautiful people? Give it up for Mel Bryant and the Mercy Makers! Clenching your fists on the wheel Saying it's fine, hold my hand Say you're mine Reflexes kicking My ex-lover's words from your mouth Baby, I'm okay You're okay the song that plays on as the Titanic sinks The look in your eye when you're lost 
in your dream The anchors ain't sinking We're drifting to sea When saying I love you Becomes my soul memory My soul They fumble for answers Push down the key Like it's nothing to me Saying I'm sorry I play to make up Make the call Take the fall And wake up Baby, wake up The feeling you get When it hurts just to be Letting the ocean just push and pull me The anchors ain't sinking, we're drifting to sea When saying I love you becomes muscle memory Muscle memory Saying it's fine, but it won't break the tide, and it won't make a mine. Oh, oh. I can keep lying to you, but we both know it's true that all that we do is my soul memory. My soul Yes! Mel Bryan, the Mercy Makers. Thank you, guys. How about that Mel Bryan? Wasn't she amazing? You know, she was one of the first people I reached out to to be in the Mars Variety Show Season 3, and I'm so glad she was a yes. Thank you so much to Mel Bryant and the Mercy Makers. Thank you to John Dennis. Thank you to Corey Knox. Go visit his family at any one of the Planet Fitnesses near you. And thank you to our sponsor, Mozart Chocolate Cream Liqueur. This stuff is really delicious. I put it in my coffee. I'll put it over ice cream. I'll just drink it. Straight up, it is amazing. And check it out, they got a white chocolate, they got a dark chocolate, they got like a white chocolate strawberry, they got a pumpkin spice, it's a very diverse cordial. Yes it is. Also, thank you to our sponsor, SoNashville.com. They make Nashville-centric t-shirts, including Mars Variety Show t-shirts, which I think your whole family should get. I think you should treat them to that. And thank you, thank you for tuning in. Please make sure that you like, please make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment. Let me know how leveling up is going for you, and let me know how, how do you process in those times that you need to take a step back from your leveling up. Oh, by the way, I worked it out. I worked it out, y'all. I know I was a little bummed at the beginning, but now I'm excited because we are so close to the awesome and wait until, oh my gosh, wait until you see what I have in store for you for the season finale. Yes, yes, so let this be a lesson, okay? Part of leveling up means taking a step back so you can recharge, recalibrate, so things can percolate and let the awesome reveal itself. And I'll see you next week. You ready? Yo, you're not ready. You better be ready. Next week, Mars Variety Show, season three, season finale, LL and Pebra. Rolling stained character. Play your play your uke. Play it for the girls, get their attention. Yes, cheer, cheer for me! Cheer! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, it's too early. Hello, it's your neighbor Mars. Yeah, I'm looking for a place to shoot my season finale. Oh my gosh, it's amazing in here.
it strong.